Hey guys, we are in the regular class lecture and the subject is sedimentology and this is lecture number 5 and today's topic of discussion is the classification of sandstone and for this topic I have referred the book The Introduction to Sedimentology by S.M. Sengupta, Sedimentology and Stratigraphy by Gary Nichols. Okay, here is the classification of sandstone which is proposed by Dodd in 1964 and his basis of classification is based on the composition of the grain and the matrix percentage okay as you know the sand is a size of sediment which lies between 2 millimeter to 1 by 16 millimeter okay so this grain size range and according to the composition and according to the percentage of matrix it has been classified and there is also a further subdivision of this only for the lithic ironite portion which is here so you will see one after the other the first one is the arenites okay so if there is 0 percentage of uh, matrix or 0 to 12.5 percentage of matrix is there that is fine sediments is there which is in the range of 0 0.3 millimeter in size say in the range of 0 to 12.5 uh, percentage and uh, the concentration of quartz is nearly 95 to 100 percentage then it is called as quartz arenite okay if the percentage of feldspar rises from 5 to 25 percentage then it is called as sub arcose in the same category of presence of quartz along with that there is a percentage of say 5 to 25 percentage of rock fragments is there then it is called as sub lithic arenite okay so sub arcose is for feldspar site and sub lithic arenite is for rock fragment site okay if the percentage of the Feldspar and quartz nearly equal, then it is called as arcose. Okay, and if the feldspar percentage rises, it is called as arcosic arenites. And if the rock fragment percentage is rises, say in the range of say more than 50 or something, then it is called as lithic arenite. Okay, so this is the classification which is only for the matrix percentage of 0 to 12.5. And if the matrix percentage entry uh, exceeds 12.5 to 20, then it is called as vacates. Okay. In the same category, if you are having more quartz and uh, nearly 12.5 to 20 percentage of matrix, it is called as quartz vacate. If the first per percentage is equal to the quartz percentage, it is called as arcosic vacate. And if the first per is dominant, it is called as felspathic vacate. The same way if the rock fragment rises in percentage, it is called as lithic vacay. Okay. So this classification is only for the matrix percentage of 12.5 to 20 percentage, which means the matrix present in the rock is in the range of 12.5 to 20. Okay. So if the matrix percentage is in between 20 to 30 percentage, then we have to use the term gray vacay. Okay. So if it is of quartz dominant, it is called as quartz gray vacay. If it is of felspar dominant, it is called as fills. Felspar, gray vacay, and if it is a rock fragment dominant, it is called as lithic gray vacay. Okay, is that clear? Uh, if the matrix percentage exceeds 30 percentage, then it is called as a mudstone, not a sandstone. Okay, the percentage of finer sediments say in the range of zero more than uh, sorry less than 0 0.3 millimeter, and if the percentage is more than 30 percentage of that sediment present, it is called as a mudstone and not a sandstone. And this lithic carnite, which is further classified into two, three, whether the rock fragments are from volcanic origin or sedimentary origin or metamorphic origin. If the rock fragments are volcanic origin, it is called as volcanic carnite. If it is of metamorphic origin, it is called as a prilic carnite. And if it is of sedimentary origin, it is called as a calclithic chert carnite. Okay, is that clear? So this is what I just want to share you. And there is a question for you in the next slide. But just the question is from Jam 2022. And the question is that we have to match the uh, left hand side and right hand side where you have seen the lithic arenite and arcose. We have to match these two with the two that is present in this side. Okay. So as you know, lithic arenite, where arenite means the matrix percentage is less than 12.5, and lithic means the rock fragment is dominant. So that will be one, right? And as you know, arcose is vacay, where vacay is uh, the range of 12.5 to 20 percentage, right? So here it will be more than 15 percentage of matrix and there is a felspar dominant as it is an arco. So the option is A where lithic carnite is less than 15 percent of matrix and more than 28 percentage of rock fragment and arco vacay is more than 15 percent of matrix and more than 28 percentage of felspar. Is that clear? And if you have any doubt, just mention in the comment section. We will do it in the next video. Thank you.